that was the Barlow Girl for the Beauty of the Earth. Well, it's that time where we go to prayer. So I just want to remind you today that whatever your need is, physical, spiritual, emotional, intellectual, financial, or family, I want you to know today that God can do exceedingly, abundantly, beyond what you're able to ask or even imagine. So Father, today, thank you for your wonderful healing touch and your provision. We have two scriptures we're going to stand on today. One is Philippians chapter 4, verse number 19, that says, you're going to supply every need according to your riches and glory. So Lord, right now, we're going to receive. Secondly, Lord, we're going to pray right now that you're going to heal. You are, of course, our physician and our healer. And this is the moment that, Lord, you're going to reach out with your healing touch, and you're going to bring us victory right now in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, today, I want to spend a couple of moments praying for the moms. Father, we're thankful for every single mom. We're thankful, Lord, for their influence in our lives. And today, we're going to pray for families. Lord, it is so important that uh, we understand that moms are often the glue that holds families together. My kids have often said that their mom is a very important cement and glue in our family unit, and I've never disagreed with that. Lord, today, I just ask that each and every moment of every day, you'll put your hand of protection upon each and every mom. Lord, we thank you that, Lord, you said that you're never going to leave us nor forsake us. So that is something that we can stand upon today when it comes to your protection over our moms. Lord, thank you for the love that they demonstrate. It was a well-known writer who said this, that the purest love is the love of a mother. And Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you for the unconditional, unchanging love of mothers. And we ask that, Lord, today you would continue, Lord, to pour your love through them to us. And Lord, we're grateful for that. We're thankful, Lord, for their wisdom <laughs> and, and some of their sayings that they say, which at the time doesn't seem to make much sense. But as we go older, we begin to realize that they were common sense sayings. So Lord, thank you for the wisdom that our moms impart. But most of all, Lord, we just want to thank you for the influence that they've had upon our lives, especially praying mothers, mothers who take time every single day to pray. I remember many, many times when I would be visiting my uh, mother-in-law and father-in-law, and I would hear her praying, not just for her kids, but she was praying for me and praying for the results of us in the ministry. So, Lord, we're grateful for praying moms. And we're grateful, Lord, today for the blessing that moms are in our life situation. So, thank you today for each and every mom. And thank you, Lord, for the promise of Acts 16.31 that says, Not only are we going to be saved, but our household as well. That is such a wonderful promise today. And we know that there are moms out there that are concerned about wayward loved ones, and they pray for those wayward loved ones. So Lord, today we're going to, of course, add our voice to those prayers. And we're going to claim a promise from Proverbs 22.6. It simply says, train a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, they will not depart from it. So Lord, today, we're praying for wayward loved ones, those prodigals. And what we're praying today, Lord, is this, that they'll have that aha moment. Jesus used the example of the prodigal son. And he said he came to himself when he was in a dire situation. So, Lord, whatever the situation is, we ask that, Lord, they'll have that aha moment, that moment that they will come to themselves and they'll discover that there's a way home. And that is, of course, loving fathers and mothers. So we're grateful for that today. We're grateful for also the statement that so many moms and dads say, which is Proverbs 24, 15. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. So Father, thank you today for the family unit. And we pray today that, Lord, they will be strong. They'll be, of course, influential in this time of changing in every way. 
And Lord, there is a consistency and constancy. And that is you in our lives. And I pray that that would be projected in so many lives. Susanna Wesley, who was the mother of John Wesley, said this, I only want to influence my kids for the Lord. And John Wesley said that the most influential person in his life was Susanna Wesley, his mom. So Lord, thank you today for godly moms, and we ask your blessing upon them now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.